Dan, if you were going to deliver an imaginary college commencement speech for 2013 creative grads, as opposed to med school grads or uh, law school, what would it be? I would say to walk over to the med school graduation ceremony or law school graduation ceremony, uh, tell a couple jokes, and befriend someone who will be your spouse. Wow. Okay. That's it. Really? Okay. Yeah. Now, if uh, it worked for me, um, yeah, you want to marry well if you want to do this for the long term, and 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 I mean, this, you know, don't marry an actress or an actor or another director. You know, um, that's very difficult. Marry someone who's a going to be a doctor or a lawyer, and and usually they're easily entertained. You know, so it doesn't take much to kind of yay. You know. Um, and uh, yeah, you, you need someone to help support you in this long, in the long haul. Not just monetary. Or an heiress. An heiress. Oh yeah, that sounds good. That's helpful. Yeah, but mo- not just monetarily. Although I understand that's probably ninety percent of the battle. I get that, but also to um, in temperament, because creative types tend to thrive on instability, maybe be unstable themselves, or they like the highs and lows of the business because nothing's ever guaranteed and the rug's always pulled out from under you at the yeah. last minute. And whereas those others seem to be a little more grounded in reality in some sense, is that yeah. also good? The yes. Yin, yin, the yang? Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, I think, I think people in other professions tend to have a bit more even keel. They're not like project to project driven. Like, you know, I, yeah, I can have high, huge highs and lows within an hour. You know? And, um, and it gets very stressful to be a filmmaker. Um, and there's no, you don't know what's around the corner. So, yeah, so being uh, married or in a relationship with someone that's in a more stable situation emotionally and financially and all other ways, it's probably a good idea. Yeah. Well, I know a lot of creative types don't like to show up at the same place every day, and I get that. So why don't you sell insurance or cars or widgets? or What is it about a long time ago going back to, to college and then, you know, Finally taking those classes at, was it UCLA and USC? First at UCLA mm-hmm. and then the, the grad program at USC. Uh, wow. I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know. That's a longer question. Um, or a longer answer to a shorter question. Uh, why? I don't know. I like it. I, I like movies, you know, I guess. I don't see very many, but I, from what I hear, they're, they're nice. Um, and I think for me, I, I think it's an making movies is a great sort of mix of sort of artistic and creative side, but also the very practical and quantitative side. And it's one of the few fields that I think kind of mixes them nicely. I think architecture is probably another one that does that. Um, like Frank Geary. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I, uh, so I think that's what appeals to me about it. I don't know. Why not? Also, I'm not very good at anything else. I don't know if I'm good at this, but someone lets me do it, I guess. Yeah. Why not do it as a side project on the weekends? Why did you make this? It basically is a side. Yeah. I mean, my day job is running kids to school. So making movies is the side project. Yeah. No, I certainly don't make money at it. I mean, we've made more money renting out our house as a location than we have for me directing ever. But in terms of the culmination of your your career and what you're known for, I mean, you've done... That's very generous of you, by the way, to say I have a career. (laughs) Well, you have you have a numerous creative things you've been a part of, whether it's Slam Dance, whether it's the book, um, you know, you've chosen that and, and you're bright enough to know that, you know, nothing's ever promised, but Obviously, you've realized that the other wasn't an alternative for you. And I'm just curious for other people that are creative, that are maybe pressured by family or friends or their peers to go out and follow one set path and then choosing something that's probably a lot more fun but is very unstable, but knowing that that's what they want to get up and do every day. When did you come to peace with that inside of yourself? This is like therapy. Wow. Um, I'm, I'm still working on that, you know, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to be when I grow up, you know. And that's, yeah, that's a beautiful so, thing sometimes. But I think that's part of what, I mean, this gets into the whole issue of transmedia, 
you know, dressing up in dresses and making movies or whatever transmedia means to different people. Um, but the idea that you come up with, uh, you don't worry about the medium, you know, maybe it's a movie, maybe it's a book, maybe it's a internet something. Um, but you have an idea, a root of an idea or a character or a style of filmmaker or acting or whatever it is you do and, and just kind of pursue that as far as it goes and then take that dead horse and beat it some more, you know, and then milk it a little bit after that. Um, Get a taxidermist. Yeah, exactly. And, and I, I mean, I, you know, that's certainly what happened with the Eisenstadt project where that was started as a, started as a promo for a video game, which morphed into a spec car commercial, which turned into a short film, which turned into a short pilot, which turned into a written pilot, which turned into a TV pitch, which turned into an internet hoax, which we thought was maybe going to be a documentary. And then it wound up turning into a book deal, which we thought was going to go back to TV. And now it may still could be a documentary or, or a narrative feature. I mean, we don't know, but that's kind of a perfect example of you, you it's an idea that had legs and we didn't know where those legs were going to run, but they ran somewhere, you know? So, and, um, you know, similar thing with open house, uh, you know, it, it was a straightforward comedy script turned into a musical feature turned into a whole Oscar campaign, which is a whole other story that you don't have room on your camera for, um, uh, you know, but which led me to Broadway I never thought I would be having Broadway meetings. I don't, I've never seen a Broadway show in my life. You know, um, but you just go, you, you know, you just follow, you know, and you just have to have faith in your own ability to at some point later figure out a way to turn that thing into something else. Um, so yeah, you just have to have a little bit of faith and balls. So going back to the commencement speech, aside from marrying well or someone with an opposite sort of goal that maybe is more of a set path it sounds like always be working on something or am i am i putting words in your well, that mind? yeah always be working on something that sounds good yeah i should listen to that more yeah it helps i mean unfortunately i'm not very good at it i'm not a good example of someone who has multiple balls in the air at the same time uh, the, like the eisenstadt thing in between us i was sort of a rare instance where i did that and it worked out, and at the end of the day, they both got made, you know, in one form or another. Um, but it is good advice. Yeah, I would tell other people to do that, and if you're good at that, you should do that and have three scripts and two plays and an internet series all going at the same time. But um, So if you can do that, you, you are better off. Uh, yeah, I'm more of a take one thing and milk it milk the dead horse till it's stuffed on the wall for better or for worse sometimes that works out and sometimes it doesn't 